What was that? A clue! A clue! Oh! You see a clue? Where? It's on the bed! No! On my head. Why would it be on your head? How would she be able to do that without you knowing? Thanks, Steve! Oh. Under the bed? No! The wicker basket! There's no clue here. On right on top of the purple velvet sheets! On top of the bed. Thank you. There it is. One of Blue's clues. On top of the bed! Hey, Patrick. What is up? Uh... Wait. Why are you watching Blue's clues? You know I've been studying this for like 20 years. You're not supposed to bother me while I do this. Yeah, but why Blue's Clues? That's just a kid show. We've been through this. I am a kid. I'm only 20 years old. And second of all, you know Blue is the greatest dog to appear in primetime toddler age educational television. Well, actually, I think I would have to disagree with that. I definitely don't think that Blue is the best cartoon dog, but I will tell you what I think the best cartoon dog is. Are you going to do one of those top 10 things that you see on YouTube or something? No, but I will now. Hold on. Wait, I'll be right back. He's not proven anything. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan Kelly and today we're going to be talking about cartoon pets and why we love them so much. So many people have pets that they take care of and these pets are special to us because we feel as if they are a part of our family and another part of family or having pets is taking responsibility to take care of those pets. So for example, let's say a dog, I don't know, gets hurt or runs away. We would be very sad that that happens because it's like a family member gets hurt or a family member runs away. Or if a dog pees all over the house, like what my dog does. So when we see a pet in a cartoon show, then we feel especially close to that pet because we are reminded of our own pets. And if you don't have pets, then maybe you just like the characteristic of the cartoon character. And if you do have pets, then you might like the characteristic of the cartoon and your pet, or you might just like the characteristic of the cartoon. But anyway, since I knew that I'm a dog person and I really like dogs from cartoons, I thought that this list would be perfect. So, I present to you my top 10 list of the best cartoon dogs. Now, before we get started, I should state a couple of things. One, I'm not going to have two dogs from the same show up here on the list. And two, this is my own opinion, so if you don't agree with my opinion, and if you think I left something out that should have been on this list, then let me know in the comments. So, without ado, I present to you the top 10 cartoon dogs. I bet that none of you guys were expecting to see Corneal on this list. I bet that a lot of you guys don't even know who Corneal is or knew what show he was from before watching this video. Well, in his show, Watch My Chops, Corneal is a talking dog that does not want his owner to know that he can talk because he doesn't want to become famous. Which, I would think he would want to become famous, but anyway. He just wants to live a normal life that a dog would live. The only person who knows about Corneal's secret is Bernie, the other main character of the show. Corneal is smarter than Bernie, which could cause some interesting dialogue between Corneal and Bernie. The reason why I have this dog on my list is because Corneal is aware that dogs are not supposed to talk, so trying to hide his secret is hard to do because of his personality of being smart and arrogant. Corneal is a perfect example of a dog that we can like because of Corneal and Bernie's relationship. Bernie is the exact opposite of Corneal, which makes Corneal's personality show even more because he has to deal with Bernie all the time. Even though Bernie still cares for Corneal, this can be difficult for him to do because, well, Bernie is not the smartest for kids. Looney Tunes is a show that is full of creative characters that make you grow bonds with those characters. 
There are so many dogs to choose from, but after thinking about each of the dogs that are in Looney Tunes, I decided that Willoughby was the obvious choice. Willoughby is not the brightest tool in the shed. Throughout the show, Willoughby talks with this really slow voice that seems to not really know what he's doing, and he doesn't look like he's alert all the time about his surroundings. I love this dog in particular because of his movements and his appearance. The most notable trait about Willoughby is whenever he is mad or has found something, his tail will straighten out and his ears will go straight up in the air. At one point in the show, Bugs Bunny is walking on Willoughby's tail, so he must have one really strong tail to be able to hold Bugs Bunny without it bending. One huge reason why Willoughby is on this list is because of what he's done in the episode The Heckling Hare. In that episode, Bugs Bunny puts a tomato in Willoughby's hand and Willoughby crushes the tomato, which makes him sad because he thinks that he's killed Bugs Bunny. So even though he was hunting for Bugs Bunny the whole time, I guess he didn't really want to kill him after all. So the secondary character that only appears in a few episodes has made my list because of how much his dog has going for him. An inspiration to children, Keeper was a dog who was kind-hearted and cared for everyone. He would help out strangers when they were in trouble and he would give food to people who needed it. And he even helped aliens get their ship to work again. Kipper shows the best side of a dog, generosity and kindness. Kipper's on this list because he is the perfect definition of what a good dog is and how we can grow a relationship with Kipper. He is a huge part of my early childhood, but the reason why he's not higher on this list is because Kipper is too perfect. Everything in the world has to deal with conflict, but Kipper has little to no problems. It's usually his friends that have the issues. So, he is so perfect that it is not realistic. And I know you could say that Kipper is just a cartoon show, but you have to put some sort of conflict with your cartoon characters so that kids can make the connection from the show into real life. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on Kipper at all. If I did, then he wouldn't be on this list. I love Kipper as a character because he shows kids how they should act. Everyone knows who Snoopy is and where he's from. Snoopy is Charlie Brown's dog and he definitely is a classic cartoon dog who deserves a place on this list. Snoopy is an adventurous dog who goes on all sorts of adventures, well in his daydreams anyway, as well as being Charlie Brown's good friend. Out of all the dogs on this list, Snoopy has this charm to him that makes him unique from the other dogs on this list. Also, Snoopy is the first dog on this list that has no dialogue. He shows what he wants by his movements and facial expressions, which gives Snoopy even more characteristic because of his animation and how it has to be precise so that the viewers can understand what Snoopy is trying to say or do. For example, he corrects Charlie's mistakes with a great deal of confidence. The way that he corrects his mistakes shows that he knows what he's doing. Snoopy without a doubt is a cartoon dog that will never be forgotten because of how much characteristic he brings with him. Another classic cartoon dog that just had to be on this list, Scooby, is a little different than the other dogs that were mentioned on this list so far. He is a member of Mystery Incorporated and goes on adventures with the gang to solve mysteries about the men behind the masks. Scooby is the stupid scare dog that hangs out with Shaggy. Scooby and Shaggy's relationship is a great one because of how perfect they are for each other. Both Scooby and Shaggy are scared of almost every mission they go on, and yet they still somehow almost always accidentally catch the bad guys. Scooby is known for more than just being a dog who is scared to go on missions with his crew. He also loves to eat food and somehow doesn't get extremely fat, which I have no idea how Scooby is not mortally obese, but that's besides the point. Scooby is a great cartoon dog because of how he will go on every mission with the gang even though he is terrified to go. Scooby has a lot of different characteristics which also makes him a perfect dog for this list. This dog has helped children learn for years. 
like Kipper, this show is aimed for children, but that does not change the fact that Blue should be on this list. What is different about Kipper and Blue is that Blue is more interactive towards her audience, giving the viewer a stronger connection with the character as well as giving the child a fun game to play. This gives the parent a break from, well, you know, having to entertain their children all the time. She is a very adventurous dog that has many friends that help her entertain her viewers. Blue is a very friendly dog and is very memorable to kids who watched her show today. That is why Blue is my brother's favorite cartoon dog, but I think there are dogs with more characteristics than Blue, as much as it kills me to say that. Well, now I know I'm probably going to get roasted in the comments for saying that Blue doesn't really have that much characteristic, but that doesn't change the fact that I still love Blue, and Blue still definitely deserves to be on this list. One you may or may not have expected on this list, Ren Hoek is a super intelligent chihuahua that has to be with a stupid cat for the rest of his life. Ren Hoek is not necessarily a dog to look up to at the least, but he is one of the most interesting dogs on this list. He is also in a different situation every single episode and also has to react differently every single episode. Ren is most notably known for being insane during most of the show. I mean, I don't blame Ren for being insane. He has to do a Stimpy every day, and he has to be unlucky every day because, well, you know, he's the most unluckiest beast. He also has to get hurt somehow in every episode. He has even died once or twice in the show. Ren is on this list because of how well Ren represents insanity and the evil side of dogs. This list was not going to be full of just good dogs. I mean, I have to mix it up every so often. Throughout the show, you eventually feel bad for Ren because of everything that he has been through. Ren is not just an evil character, he cares about Snippy a lot, even though a lot of the times it might not seem like it. Ren has a nice side and, well, he cares for Snippy. He's nice to Snippy in a good amount of episodes. But everyone remembers Ren for being the insane chihuahua that hates Snippy. But Ren is a deeper character than that, and that's why he's on this list. The Mechanical Canine, Goddard, is one of the only robot dogs that are on this list. Actually, he is the only robot dog on this list, but he is very deserving to be here. He was created by Jimmy Neutron so that he could pretty much do almost anything. He is definitely the smartest dog on this list because, well, he literally has the internet built into him, and he's a great companion for Jimmy as well. Even though he is not a real dog, he still shows emotions whenever Jimmy has work to do or, well, just can't pay attention to him. He also is for sure the coolest dog on this list because he can fly. Goddard is memorable because everyone, at least once in his or her life, wanted his or her own Goddard so that they could fly through the skies. The reason why Goddard is on this list is not because he can fly, but because of how Goddard cares so much about Jimmy and his friends. He is loyal to Jimmy and does everything Jimmy tells him to do. I mean, this might be because Jimmy programmed Goddard, but still, that is besides the point. Cat Dog is a classic because of how weird the whole scenario is. He technically is a dog, but he's also technically a cat. So he can't be on the list because we're just going to be viewing the dog side of Cat Dog. He is a very simple dog who is mostly nice and who cares for Cat even when Cat gets angry at him. But he himself can actually get angry if someone messes with his fire hydrant or takes a bone from him or tries to say something that isn't true or, you know, just says that he's not a real dog. Dog is a very lovable character that everyone loves because of how great he is. He is strong and always chases the garbage truck and the newspaper delivery boy. He makes Cat drag on the ground because, well, Dog is so much stronger than Cat. The reason why Dog is on this list is because he has to deal with Cat every day. And this is different than Ren and Stimpy because, well, he's literally attached to Cat, so he can't get away. There's not a single moment in his life where he can have his own alone time. So, of course, this gives Dog a strong personality and is definitely a definable character because of how well he can handle being attached to Cat 
all day, every day. He is a dog that everyone remembers because of his quirkiness and having the ability to be a friend to a cat through thick and thin, even though cat does not return the favor sometimes. Kerr just had to be on this list. I mean, he's the perfect dog to be on this list. He is a dog who has a lot of courage because of what he has to face every day. He saves Eustace and Muriel from dangerous threats, even though he himself is just as scared of the threats as they are. The reason why Courage is on the list is because of the origins of his name. In the episode Remembrance of Courage Past, it reveals Courage's sad past story. Courage's parents were launched into space by a mad doctor, which results in Courage being homeless. After his parents were launched into space, Muriel finds a little Courage all by himself crying. She says that Courage is brave, and for being alone in the middle of the streets, she decides to take him with her and name him Courage. As you can see, not only has Courage gone through a lot by losing his family, but he also has to go through the risk of losing his new family every day. He does whatever it takes to protect his new family so that he doesn't lose anyone else in his life. Not only is this really sad, but it is also really moving and inspirational. This show shows people that anyone can be courageous and get through bad times. Kurt is by far my favorite dog on the list because, well, his origins and because of his characteristics as well. Courage is a dog that gets scared easily, but still tries to do everything he can to save Eustace and Muriel. He's also pretty funny at times and has his really quirky nature, but don't get me wrong, he can also be really serious when he needs to be. Courage definitely shows people what it means to be courageous. So Patrick, um, as you can see, there are a lot of great dogs on this list that you might want to consider for your new favorite. Uh, yeah, dude. Actually, I think there were a ton of great dogs on there, but I think my favorite was... It was, uh, number five, wasn't it? That was... That was Blue. Great! I spent all day making this top ten so that you would be satisfied. Maybe change your mind go, Oh, maybe Blue's not as good as I thought he was! I didn't tr make you do the top ten, but at the same time, you didn't waste your time. I did. I took a lot of great stuff from that. Wait. wait. So are you saying you actually learned something from one of my videos? Um, yeah, you, your, uh, your angles of blue were great. And the way you talked about her, you really showed people how awesome she is. I mean, right? So, do you agree or disagree with my list? Let me know in the comments who you think should have made it on the list if someone you liked didn't make it on the list. Also, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and dislike the video if you didn't like what you saw. And also, subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out if you do. Thank you guys for watching this top 10. And also, I would like to give my brother a shout out, uh, Patrick Kelly. I would like to thank him for helping me out with a little intro segment. So, my name is Ryan Kelly, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!